Photoshop might be cooked. Google just dropped Nano Banana, and honestly, it's about to change everything. Just look at these images that I made. I started with this one image as my source, just me in a business suit. And then I generated tons of different looks while keeping my face and body exactly the same. I can even add things to the image. Here's a prime bottle. And now watch this. I made myself hold this exact same prime bottle. Then I can change my outfit to this green shirt while keeping the same pose. Or I can add this handbag and make it look totally natural. This is crazy because it's all the same person, me, but I can create so many different versions for whatever I need. Same face, same body, but unlimited options. This is what Nano Banana can create, and it's honestly mind-blowing. It's like having a team of editors at your fingertips. So, let's get started. First, I'll show you how to access Nano Banana, then we'll test it against other AI image models with real examples. Here's the thing though, jumping between different websites to compare tools is a pain. So I've got this super advanced workflow set up in this AI tool that most people don't even know exists. The cool thing is, I can throw in Nano Banana and basically any other image model I want, all in one workflow. I'll drop the link to this exact setup in the description so you can grab it and use it yourself. For example, let's say I want to test my image across Nano Banana, Flux, ChatGPT, and Seededit simultaneously and compare them all side by side. So I connect the prompt and the image to all these image models like this. Then I select all and click run and wait till they get generated. If I like any of these images, let's say I really liked the nano banana one, I can easily turn that into a video by branching that image to multiple different AI video models like VEO3, Cdense, or Kling, etc. I'll put the link and the template below in the description if you want to try it out. Now let me show you exactly why nano banana is destroying other image models like Flux Context and GPT Image One by doing some real world testing, starting with care character style variations. Most AI image models fail at character consistency. Watch what happens when I transform this person into a cyberpunk character. They change the face completely, but Nano Banana keeps it consistent. Let me show you how. This is my prompt. Turn this person into a detective wearing a long coat in a dark, foggy street. Select all and click run. And now we wait. So instead of going to three different websites, copying this prompt three times and waiting for each one separately, I just select everything and hit the run button and Weavy runs it through Nano Banana, GPT, and Flux all at the same time. This literally saves me a lot of time, plus I can see the results in one place. Okay, the images are generated. Let's take a look one by one, starting with Nano Banana. Honestly, Nano Banana just nails it here. The character looks the same as the original. My outfit looks good and the whole vibe is straight out of a detective movie. Now let's take a look at the flux context. I think it's all right. The scene is decent, but the face doesn't quite match, but it's close. Next we have GPT image one. The first thing I noticed is that it switched things to black and white and changed the face completely. This doesn't even feel like the same person. I think from these three, Nano Banana is the clear winner for keeping things consistent. So first place goes to Nano Banana, second goes to flux context, and third goes to GPT image one. All right, next we'll move on to product integration. Let's change my background a little bit and put me in a luxury car with some matching accessories that go with it. My prompt is, place this person next to a pink sports car, add matching pink outfits and accessories, select everything and click run so it can generate these images. Looking at Nano Banana's result, the lighting is really good and the car looks amazing. The pink outfit looks natural and fits perfectly. I also noticed the eyes squinting since it's sunny, which gives it a realistic touch. Next, Flux Context kept the person consistent, but the car looks a bit fake. The lighting's off, and it made me look way shorter, which is strange. For GPT image one, it completely changed the character again. This doesn't even look like the same person from the original photo, and the skin doesn't look that great, so that's a problem. So if we compare all three together, it's pretty clear that Nano Banano comes on top. Next, we move on to environment testing, where you ask the image models to place the same person in totally different environments and keep the lighting consistent. Let's test it out. Here's my prompt. Change the background from the office to a cozy home library. Keep the same person and make the lighting match the new background. Now select everything and click run. Looking at Nano Banana's result, this looks really good. The library background fits perfectly and the lighting adjusts naturally to match the cozy setting. Flux context actually looks pretty good too. The background is nice and the person stayed consistent just like the original. For GPT image one, the background looks all right and it kept the outfit the same, but it completely messed up the character. The face doesn't match the original person at all. I think this one's actually a tie between Flux Context and Nano Banana. They both handled the background change and lighting really well while keeping the character consistent while GPT image messed it up. Next, we'll test the models by making me hold a coffee mug in a cafe. This is my prompt. Show this person holding a coffee cup in a cafe. Select and click on Run. 
Looking at Nano Bananas' results, this looks great. There are people blurred in the background, which makes it feel like a realistic cafe, and the fingers holding the cup look perfect. Flux Context has issues – unnatural eyes, weird hand positioning, empty cafe background, and two coffee cups. But it kept the character consistent. For GPT Image 1, it completely messed up the character again. This doesn't look like the same person at all. The background looks decent, though. So clearly, Nano Banana wins again in this scenario. Next, we'll test out clothing and style changes. I used the prompt, change this person into a superhero costume with a cape standing on a rooftop at night, and click on Run. It takes around 5 to 10 seconds for everything to be generated, and GPT Image takes the longest. Let's start with Nano Banana. The character looks the same, and the cape flows naturally with the wind. I like the few strands of hair flowing naturally, although I'm not satisfied with this image. Next, we move to Flux context. It kept the character consistent and the costume looks okay, but the overall image quality makes it look a bit fake and less realistic compared to Nano Banana. Plus, my eyes look a bit off. Lastly, we have GPT Image 1. As always, it messed up the character completely again, a totally different person, but the superhero costume design actually looks fine. In this scenario, I think Nano Banana is the best, although I wasn't satisfied with the generation. Now, here's the ultimate test, creating complex scenes by including multiple things while keeping the person consistent. Basically, I want to create a complete lifestyle brand shoot. This is my prompt. Put this person in a fancy apartment with expensive furniture, luxury watches and bags, plants and art. Make it look like a magazine photo shoot with nice lighting. And then click run. First up, Nano Banana. The luxury bag looks spot on and the whole scene actually feels like a fancy living room. The watches look great too. Now, flux context. The person still looks like me, which is good. But to be honest, this just looks like an office, not a living room. Plus, for some reason, I've got two watches on and my pose feels a bit off. Then there's GPT Image 1. Here, it totally changed the person again. The watches are messed up, but at least the background is okay. So from these three images, we clearly know that Nano Banana is the best while Flux Context and GPT Image 1 performed poorly. Now let's talk about image consistency. Here's where Nano Banana truly separates itself from everything else on the market. I'm going to take this single motorcycle image and build an entire cinematic sequence while keeping the bike and rider exactly the same. Let's start with this prompt. Turn this person into a motorcycle rider speeding through a dark tunnel with smoke behind them. Back view and click on run model. Look at this. The bike stayed exactly the same, but now it's in this tunnel with all that smoke. Pretty cool. Let's try this one now. Put this person on a motorcycle jumping over a broken bridge gap. Side view and click run model. Okay, that's sick. Same bike, same rider, but now they're jumping across this gap. The consistency is really good. Now let's do this one. Show this person riding a motorcycle at high speed with sparks flying from the ground in a dark industrial setting. Front view, and then click Run. Those sparks and the whole industrial setting looks real. You can see the bike details are still identical to the original. Next, we'll use this prompt. Show this person drifting through smoke in a futuristic garage. Drone view. This one's like a movie scene. The smoke and lighting look great. And again, same exact bike in every single image. The motorcycle design stays consistent across every single frame. The rider's posture the bike's details, even the proportions. Everything remains perfectly consistent while the environments completely change. This is why Nano Banana is changing everything for content creators who need consistent characters and objects across multiple scenes. Look, if you're a content creator or business owner, Nano Banana can save you serious money. Instead of paying thousands for product photos, you can make professional images in minutes. Most AI tools are just overhyped marketing gimmicks. But Nano Banana is different. It matches professional quality and makes editing practical for business use. This free tool is changing image editing Learn it now, while others are still figuring it out. I'll leave the access link in the description. Make sure to subscribe because I test these tools so you know which ones actually work.